Thank you, Elliot. Wow, it's really exciting standing here, seeing everyone from 30 countries, thing like that. Okay, all the everyone from international, international guests. So I want to share with you something. Elliot mentioned that for one year now I'm the, actually managing this whole program, this whole initiative. But to tell you the truth, I've been part of this program, this wonderful program, which was initiated by the Prime Minister five years ago. This program deals with fuel choices and mobility. And actually, every day for me is very, very exciting. I mean, this is such an exciting field, working on smart mobility, the future of mobility. Who wouldn't be excited about it? For me, every day, I think I got the best job in the world. I mean, they pay me to change the world. So why not? I really enjoy it. But the thing is that on this date, 21 of January this year, walking up the steps to the cabinet of Israel, that day I was very, very excited. And the reason for that is because we were about to put on the table of the government a result of a very, very comprehensive work, very thorough work, a work that actually involved the understanding of the global trends in the automotive industry a work that actually ident identified where Israel's strength is in, in this field, and also what this ecosystem needs, what is required by the different industry entrepreneurs. And so on that day, what we did is we presented to the government a national plan for smart transportation. Now, Israel, which is known for its technological innovation, and a world leader in water technologies, biomed, cyber, I don't know, many things, IT, is suddenly becoming a leader in smart mobility as well. And that day, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the government of Israel made history. They made history because they actually approved, voted for, and launched the National Plan for Smart Mobility, the Israeli Smart Mo a plan for smart mobility. The Israeli national plan, sorry, Israeli national plan for smart mobility. And this is history, because this isn't just saying now entrepreneurs or industry or researchers working on creating solutions. This is actually saying, the government saying, this is our role to promote technologies, to promote our need, to enable, to encourage research, development, entrepreneurship, industry. This is the government saying, we need to do this. We, we are the ones that need to support this. This is the government saying, let's be a playing field, a playground for mobility. And you are probably saying, OK, well, this is really good, and this is really exciting for all the Israeli, the Israeli government, but what's in it for me? What can I gain from this? How can my business, my my industry, how can my dreams gain from this? Well, you can gain from this big time. And the reason for that is what we are doing is we are, for the first time, the government is actually supplying a network of support. This isn't just me here standing in front of you. Behind me, or better yet, in the audience and in the different uh, offices now working, are all of the ministry's representatives that you can see most of them on the screen. They are all part of this and dedicated to this program. And together, that's how we actually work on this national plan. So you have this whole package, you have this whole team, but what is it supplying to you? Well, what we're doing is we're giving you this dream package. Now, imagine a package, and this package includes all of the necessary components for making smart mobility. What are these components? So first of all, information. Having information. The gov government is now releasing data sets, creating data sets that will be able to promote smart transportation. One of these data sets that we're working on is high-resolution mapping of Israel. Very important for entrepreneurs, for the industry. In addition, what do we all want? Less bureaucracy. So what we're creating now is supportive regulation, both for conducting experiments, onward experiments, but not just, also for the long term, for actually implementing solutions in Israel. And yes, we want to be a leader in making regulation for worldwide implementation of autonomous vehicles. 
what do you all want? Accessible, accessibility in, to innovation. So we are now la launching a test site and test facilities and also a research center where you will be able to meet and encounter Israel's most innovative startups and researchers working in this field. Now, all of the steps that I described, they're not something that we're going to do. We're actually already doing it. We have all the government ministries working on it as we speak, and already we have some tests uh, conducted um, in autonomous and connected vehicles here in Israel. And this is maybe the place to say that we don't just talk, we do. And, la and the, follow the last year, uh, the previous year, was actually the year for implementation of novel technologies, well, clean and efficient technology in Israel, with electric buses running in different cities in Israel already, with car, electric car sharing units, with electric taxis, and also the creation of the first global standard for methanol, a fuel that can be mixed with gasoline. In addition, we have supported 300 research groups. We have more than 300 research groups in different disciplines in Israel, working on fuels and, and also data and, and everything that has to do with the world of alternative fuels and smart mobility. We have carried out 30 pilots already, starting from vehicles running on metal air batteries and capsules running on overhead lines by magnetic levitations and cars that are able to fold and different fuels. So those are already happening. This is already happening for the past five years. In addition, we have served as a focal point for 550 startups. Yes, 550 startups are part of this community. And we have done that through a one-stop shop, but also via uh, entrepreneurial community that was launched under the Prime Minister's office, and you know it as EcoMotion. If, and if you don't, you should be acquainted. So that, that was one of the missions that we did under the Prime Minister's office. In addition, we invested over $90 million in R&D via the different mechanisms that the different ministries working have, uh, have given. And yes, the future, as we see it, is very exciting. I guess you see the future as well, that's why you're here. Because this, as I began, this, is, this field is very, very exciting. But when we say future, future can be a long way ahead. When we speak autonomous vehicles, it seems like it's in the next generation or something like that. Well, things are already happening. But let's talk about the near future. Let's talk about next year. So in the next year, which is real near future, We'll be seeing here field experiments in different connected and autonomous vehicles. Again, more, more, a, a, more vehicles running on different fuels, different batteries. We're going to see more of that and take it to the next level. We're going to have an autonomous test facility. Some will be focused on cyber. Cyber security for vehicles, something Israel has a very big strength in. We we're going to launch OEM Innovation Labs, in which these innovation labs will have as much as an acquaintance with the different startups and different entrepreneurs and different innovation getting in Israel. And yes, we are building now a network of EV, char EV fast charging stations. So this is next year. So when you look at all of this and you say, I hope you say, okay, well, there's something happening here. We know there's innovation. You can see it outside in, in, the, in the exhibition. You can meet the different people through the B2B meetings. You know that the government has put a really big focus on it and took it to a national level. But how do, how do you're probably asking yourself, how do I be a part of it? How do I become a part of this whole thing? So I'm going to be very clear about it. It's called Tachlis. Tachlis is straight to the point. That's our business attitude here in Israel, our attitude here in Israel. So I'm going to be talkless about it. What I want you to do is open up the booklets that you received, I hope you received on the way inside, describing all of, all of our activities. And in the last page, there's a page for notes. And in that page, I want you to write this number and this email, because me, my team, and all of the ministries around us, we are your contact, we are the ones that want to promote smart mobility with you and with us, make your Israel your smart mobility hub. Thank you very much. Enjoy the next two days. I hope it's very fruitful for you and that you will achieve whatever you would like. Thank you.